Well, hey everyone, I'm um, just uh, gonna look through this assignment for you guys. I, um, I've been getting a lot of requests for this one in particular. I know that a lot of sections have different ones, but here's uh, the one that I got asked the most, and it's honestly pretty quick, so I can make this little video um, on YouTube. Uh, and if it helps you, it helps you. Okay, so uh, I haven't really looked at this yet. I'm gonna be looking at it for the first time with you, but it looks to me like um, we've got uh, some inventory management. We got some hold, you know, ordering costs, holding costs, and then I see some transportation costs. So to me, this looks like a combo of uh, inventory management with transportation planning. Um, you know, you've got here a bunch of data, and it looks to me this is monthly. Like the data repeats. So if you look at the first twelve months and then the next twelve months, it looks like that data is repeating. So I'm going to start by finding my annual demand just by adding up one full year, like so, okay? 20,670, it could be anything for you. I'm assuming the numbers will all be different for everybody. And I'm just gonna work with one supplier here just to give you guys an idea of how I would approach the question and then it'll be up to you guys to kind of do it again for all of them. If I wanted to find the total cost of this supplier, the first thing I would do is calculate um, the holding cost. They told me up here that the holding cost annually is 30.55%. And we learned in class that this means it's 30.55% of the price. So they told you the price is 154. That means the holding cost for this person, person, this supplier, is $47 and about five cents. Then I would find the EOQ using your formula. So that is the square root of two times the annual demand, that's D, times S, that gave you the ordering cost up there, over the H that you just found. 2 DS over H, the same formula as you would have used on your midterm. That's the EOQ. Great. Then for order quantity, which is Q. Here, you want to look at this minimum shipment size. You see how the 9,000 of EOQ is less than the minimum? That means that your ordering quantity should be the minimum. Had the EOQ been higher, I would use the EOQ here. It's kind of like when we did quantity discounts or the crash course or the weeklies. If the minimum size exceeds your EOQ, then that's what I'm going to put here. I'm going to be ordering this quantity. And then calculate your total cost. So for this, we're going to use the quantity discount formula, which is Q over 2 times H plus D over Q times S plus RD. So Q, the number you just put there, over 2 times H plus uh, D, annual demand, over Q times S plus R, that's your product price, times annual demand. So my total inventory cost for this supplier is about 3.7 million. Okay, now let's do the transportation portion of this. We know that transport planning is, uh, you know, shipping cost plus the in-transit holding cost. So shipping costs will be easy. They gave you the transportation cost per unit so I'm going to take that number times annual demand. I get 18,512. And then in transit holding costs. Remember the formula for this. Lead time over 365 times your holding cost times your units. So I'll do lead time, which in this case is 141 divided by 365 times the holding cost times my annual demand. So I get 373,000. So total delivery cost is the sum of these two. Total supplier cost would be the, this total cost, the total inventory cost plus total delivery cost. So if I buy from this supplier over the course of a year, this is how much I'm spending. So now it's up to you to do it again for supplier two and supplier three so that you can rank them. Um, and then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, 
again, if uh, this is my interpretation of it, this is how I would approach it. Um, you know, you're free to do it however you want. All right, peace out.